Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to day six of Deadman Armageddon. I want to start this video off by opening my grand exchange and realizing that primordial boots sold for basically 11 million. That is 1 million more than yesterday. So we will gladly take that. And I'm currently just working on skilling a little bit. It is late. I've been PVMing all day. So I just want to train a little bit of crafting and I'm actually turning profit with my crafting at the moment. I am basically slow buying orbs and stuffs and then selling for profit. It's a really good method and it's printing us money. Now that the prim sold, I had enough money to invest further into my house. As you guys know, in the last episode, we got 99 construction. And I want to be able to reach the breaches very quickly with just a simple click of this cape. I should now be able to make an achievement gallery room for 200,000. And this cost me approximately 2 million dead men to get. The expensive parts being the gold leaves and all these bracelets. But I need to make the basic jewelry box first, upgrade it up to fancy. And now I just need to quickly jump to the bank and grab the remaining supplies to make it ornate. But there we go. We now have an ornate jewelry box. And I can now teleport menu somewhere, for example, straight to the grand exchange. This will be extremely useful throughout the entire Deadman mode. After that, I decided to do some late night skilling while waiting for the 4 a.m. breach. And while I was skilling, I was obviously also fishing on my AFK account. And we pulled easily the best possible sigil for the account, sigil of the remote storage. The sigil currently goes for around 9 million dead men, but the best part about the sigil is it makes my AFK sessions even more AFK. Before I pulled this sigil, I was simply using regular storage, I still had to drop my items, but now it is completely AFK, 100% chance of all your gatherables going directly to the bank. So an option is there to sell it if I ever need money really badly, but for now we're gonna use it. And the very next trip we pulled sigil of prosperity as well. So in less than 30 minutes of AFKing, we made like 17 million dead men, which is absolutely ridiculous just by clicking on a fishing spot, while usually I could spend the whole day slaying and not end up having that sort of money to work with. I love the nighttime skilling, the market has no competition, so I've been slow buying crafting and herb lore ingredients and actually turning profit, training both crafting and herb lore, which usually are a big money loss skills, but I managed to make potions and sell them and make profit. So I managed to do this all the way till 90 herb lore and then it was time for a 4am breach. Outer fort is Varlamor. Huh? Am I being attacked? I don't even know. I wasn't even attacked. Okay, I'm quickly going to the bank. Okay, finally a tier 5. Yeah, there's a pick air on me again. Oh, this guy almost died. Oh, he died. Bro, I cannot catch a break. I don't even... I don't even get it. Who's even on me? The fuck? Am I being hit by? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get it. People are just rag bolting. <laughs> it's probably smart that other people can get more damage on the breaches. I'm being bolted again, huh? Okay. Okay, a little tier 5. Okay, another emblem here. We got another emblem at the very end. And we're being bolted. Yeah, MVLS. Ah, that's pretty bad. Alright, well... Okay, how many times did we get attacked that breach? 
like seven. It's on the low for us. The points at the end of the night bridge, 60.1. We broke the 60,000 total points, which is pretty good. After the breach, I was checking some prices and I decided to pull the trigger. I sold the sigils on the fisherman account in preparations to unlock augury. And then I got caught a little bit off guard. Dude, it's 5 a.m. and there is a random breach. What the fuck? South Asgarnia, yeah, that's where we died last time. Let me quickly gear up. Dude, there's so little amount of people because it's like 5 a.m. Everybody went to bed. Oh my god, I just noticed that I have no body. Yes, all by myself. Ah, but it's... I don't know how much I will hit this. Yeah, I won't hit it, damn it. If I can get this goblin and then this Duriel in here, that could be really good. Dude, this is so good. I have it all to myself here in the little shack. <laughs> okay, we're hitting, we're hitting. Dude, this is so good though. Like, point wise, this is amazing. After this kill, I just house teleport, recharge prayer, get out, and action. Okay, here we go. Just a tier 5 for all that effort. Unbelievable. Oh, another Duriel, let's go. Can I kite him in here? No way, I kite another one in here. Yes. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Second Duriel, fully here for me. Yes, dude, yes. We're printing the 5 a.m. bridge goes crazy. There's no way. I, I was really hoping I would be just me and him. Unbelievable. I'm getting so many points though, we'll take it. Alright, here we go. What about this one? Bro. Wait, that's it. That's the bridge done, I think. Oh, there's a Jaguar warrior. Chain body. That's the bridge. We end it on 62.8. And that means I can now sleep comfortably knowing there is no extra bridge happening at any point in the day. That is really, really solid. I do need to rotate my house a bit because I just realized that I want this here and this here. Because now I can just do this and grand exchange immediately. Uh, but anyways, what an amazing breach. Let's do a bit more skilling and then we go for a nice long sleep. Here is 93 Herblor and with my Sigil of Exaggeration I can now create pretty much every single potion in the game. Not that I ever will, uh, because I've just been making anti-venoms because these cost me 10 GP each and the goal is to get this to 99. I don't know if I want to get all of that done today though. Well, that is a beautiful sight to see. All my sigils sold and I bought an Arcane Prayer Scroll for 17 million. Easily one of the best upgrades we will ever get on Deadman mode is the Arcane and Dex prayer scrolls. Obviously I'm very mage based in most of the things that we do, so because of that Arcane prayer scroll was my first option. We're now learning Augury, beautiful. I'm excited for the next breach to come. And here is a 95 Herblor, 3 minutes before the breach. 4 more levels to go, I am kinda doing just everything at this point, just wanna get it done. Asgarnian Kingdom. I have first Pyre Lord all to myself. There's the first emblem immediately. Alright, we're on 63.5, but we already did like quite a few minutes of the breach, so like one third of the breach I've already done. So points, I, it is what it is, unlucky. Another tier 5, I am valuing my food a lot more than I am the tier 5s at the moment though. Very peaceful breach so far for me. Maybe I just jinxed it and I'm gonna die, but we got another emblem. I'll take this one. Is that it? Yeah, the bridge seems over. We end this bridge on 65.6k points, which is honestly pretty alright, I'd say. Alright, I've done enough skilling for now, I'm up to 96 Herblor. It is now time to finish 93 Slayers so we can assign ourselves the Smoke Devils and in the process probably get killed a lot. Since I only have one more hand pickable task, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a task from Duradel and hope it's not a necessarily horrible one. 
And we got a fairly decent one, but I don't think it's gonna be enough XP. Regardless, let's do some ankles. Now that we have a crafting level, we can also make a Slayer Mask. Slayer Helmet is perfectly fine when it comes to simple melee tasks, but I wanna imbue it because I will be risking Slayer Helm when we do Smoke Devils, even though it's multi, even though the likelihood of dying is extremely high, I'm willing to risk this, I think. We are still missing 160k Slayer XP, and I am once again not gonna handpick the task. So, if I get anything doable, we're just gonna have to tank through it. Adam and the dragons. How do I even get to that? Alright, I guess we're gonna go clear some finds first and get ourselves a dig site pendant. I completely forgot everything about this, so let me figure out how to do it. A little bit of digging later, we found ourselves a clean necklace. Let's turn this into a dig site pendant and we can then teleport directly to the dragons. I'm also going to spend extra money and put this dig site pendant in my house. I think all in all it is gonna be worth it, but we started off by making a ruby necklace and then using a level 3 enchant on the ruby necklace that should now be a dig site pendant perfectly. To be able to mount it in our house, we need to speak to Curator Halen over here and we need 250 rubies, 500 fire runes and some cosmic runes. We ask him about how do we get a medallion and we are willing to give him our rubies. So there's the Curator medallion, we also need a gold leaf and a mahogany plank. And lastly, we just have to create a portal nexus room. Oh, I hope I have enough money for this. 200k, <laughs> it's okay, let me figure this out real quick. Creating a portal nexus but not to actually make portals, but to build in this amulet space. And we are now able to mount a dig site pendant. If I at any point get Xeric Talisman as well, I'm gonna do the exact same thing for that. But most importantly, dig site pendant is now here. However, if I go in the teleport menu, I don't think I can teleport where I need to. Or can I? Is it Lithran? Never mind, it appears that the Lithran teleport is auto unlocked for us, which is perfect. So I'm just gonna mage these, I think. I don't really know. It's only eight of them, anyways. So let's get this task done quickly. I'm very unfamiliar with this place, so this could be a little bit dangerous. Whenever you're like new in a territory, usually I always like to know my escapes. Ah, never mind. Would you look at that? You have not yet unlocked that destination. So we didn't actually unlock it yet. So let's go ahead and fix it. Alright, so this run that I'm about to do, I only need to do once. I also don't know about multi-lines here in the Fossil Island. Looks good so far. I need to start considering training farming at some point. These three trees here are gonna be a big part of that, but I'm just lazy. Let's take a look if anybody's actually killing these dragons, because they drop dragon crossbow and they should be worth quite a bit. Nobody is here. There we go, and we now unlock a portal directly to this place, which is gonna save a ton of time if we ever wanna do this in the future. Okay, and I believe this should be the last one. Slightly annoying task, not even gonna lie, but very quick one. And we got a bunch of points for it too, so we'll be able to pick our task soon. I do think I'll take like one more random one though. I need to be able to assign myself Abyssal Demons once for the Sire. I need to be able to assign myself Hydra once as well. And then lastly, I need to be able to assign myself a Smoke Devil. So we need 180 points in total, but obviously I can't pick the next task. And the next task, if it's a good one, should be enough for 93 Slayer. Uh, it's, it's trolls. I think it's gonna be enough. It's not the best task I've ever seen, but I'll do it I guess it's whatever if you are enjoying today's episode consider subscribing I took devotion for this task We'll see how long it takes I'll train a little bit of attack and I do believe it's gonna be enough for the slayer level I hope let's see how much XP we get per one 900 XP. We have 144 that should be more than enough I think so we just pulled a curved bone. I do believe that, I mean, it's one in 5,000. I know that for a fact. I was gonna say this would be a good construction XP if I do the quest, but then I remember, hold up, I already did that. I'm gonna just rename to a bone collector at this point. Here's a long bone as well. We are up to 97 attack, but most importantly, look at this Slayer level, a few more kills, and we will have this on 93. It's starting to get really close though, but 900 a pop, I think will be right there. That should do it. There is level 93 Slayer, beautiful, we can now do Smoke Devils. I'm obviously gonna finish this 8 and then we can handpick the task. It is gonna be very scary though, because it is peak time right now. Alright, then here goes nothing. Obviously we only have 4 worlds and there's a lot of people in this world, so if all of the worlds are taken, we're just gonna have to do something else and come back to this another day, or maybe in the morning, or whatever it is. So, by us taking this task, it doesn't actually mean we'll be able to do all of this right now. But regardless, here goes nothing, versatility, slaughter is activated, let's just double check, yup. 
153. We're not going to be doing that many. All we want to do here is we want to complete these three simple tasks alongside getting one kill because that's also the diary. So firstly, we need to kill him 20 times. If I'm uncontested, I will probably push for 75 KC. I highly doubt that will be possible though. Then I need to kill the Thermi without it hitting anyone. I do believe I can max range this, but I need to look into how to do that. And then the last one is very annoying. Kill the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil whilst only using special attacks. For that, I'm just gonna need to have a Dragon Dagger. And on top of that, I'm also probably gonna buy Sigil of the Light Bearer. And I'm gonna be using Last Recall and swapping between these two in order to, well, teleport right back into the room, do four specs, teleport out. Uh, I hope that will work. I genuinely don't know. So there is two ways I could go about it. Either I don't, I mean, I, I'm gonna risk quite a decent amount regardless. But I'm thinking, do I bring the Mage's Book or the Occult as well to try and make kills faster? Or do I just take a Seer's Ring and I'm willing to like lose a Seer's Ring and Black Mask? I'm not sure how far to take this. I guess it depends if we die and how fast we die. I'm probably gonna die, let's be honest. The likelihood of dying here, massive. Okay, so I see nothing. Oh, there is a guy cannoning. Okay, so I basically need to sneak in. So like, this is multi, right? So that guy's probably having a clan, I would assume. I'm gonna try this world as well. But if there is an angle where I can sneak through, I just need to sneak through once, basically. But I don't have less trickle right now on me, so maybe it's not as simple as I expect it to be. Oh, maybe there is an angle in this world. Okay, we're onto something, maybe? Okay. Looks to be alright so far. I need to try and kill this without ever taking damage, so... But firstly, I just want to get one kill in. The way we do the zero damage run is by safe spotting, like long ranging him. Oh wait, I should probably be praying. But I feel like if we get lucky, that's gonna happen anyways. And if I'm long ranging him and I see people, I should maybe be able to just step out. All right, and that's kill number one. That should give us a ton of points. 65.9. We got a clue scroll off the bat, which is actually not bad. See, this is a cool trick actually, because I can just mage it and then if, if anybody runs in right now, I can insta-tap because nothing is dealing damage to me. I'm actually gonna be greedy, I think. I'm gonna take uh, Occult and Mage's book. It is extremely greedy though, so... It adds about 5 mil extra risk to it, but maybe it's gonna help me deal more damage. Yeah, beautiful. A hazard prevention, very good. I think, well, <laughs> I brought all this gear out, but I'm already ready to bank all this gear. And the reason for that is I just wanted to get the hazard prevention completed. And now I'm going to try to do the spec one. It's complicated, but as soon as I get these two things down, I think it's going to become very easy very quickly. Also, what I can start doing is instead of going to Grand Exchange, where the entire population is, I can go ahead and just go to Falador Park, for example. I don't think my sigil choices are the best, but meticulousness, restoration and consistency, I'm gonna run in, do four specs, teleport out, put on the sigil of light better so my spec recharges faster and do it all over again. So four specs, one, two, three, four, and we go out and come back. Dude, I'm just sitting here in my bag looking like an absolute snack waiting for my, like, thingy to restore. If you're wondering why I don't have a restoration in my house, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on Deadman mode, but this might be just mine being wrong. Uh, as soon as this hits 80, I'm going. I, I do hope three specs should be enough to finish this task. There it is, it's 80. Unattuned light better, attuned consistency. Pop it in there, pop some food, and we just hope we don't get killed right here on the way. Spec, spec, and that should do it. That should be the second one. Yeah, beautiful. I was worried about this for some reason, but yeah, no reason to worry. And now I just need 20 kill count, so after that, even if I were to die, I don't really care. If we don't get killed until 75 kill count, beautiful. We do it till 75. If we get killed post 20, I will probably call it there and be happy with post 20. But for now, we're going into our mage setup, our sustain mage setup, and we're just gonna try to long range it consistently so I can teleport if somebody runs in. That is my plan, let's get it done. Yeah, this method is so chill actually. And pretty fast, I hope I can get to 75kc without any altercations with like teams. But if I could do that, the day would be such a success. I guess one thing that could surprise me, I just thought about it, is if people log in in this room and they hop. Well in that world I'm just screwed. But if I could get 4 more kills, I complete all the combat achievements and then I'm happy with however many I can get until the end. Because this is boosting my points tremendously. We're already on 66.2. Currently, rank 30. 
And there we have it. That is KC number 20, combat achievements fully com- Oh my god, I thought somebody logged in, my heart just skipped a bit. Combat achievements fully completed there. Oh my god, my heart right now, you don't understand. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, and from now, it's just luxury. Everything from here on out is just luxury. Alright, I'm scouted by Rot. What gear is he even using? He's just naked. I'm just gonna... Oh, this is so sketchy. That's a smart way to play. He's just using starter and then sex. Very interesting. Look, if it, if this gets me killed, like, it is what it is. Ah, oh, let's do this kill and get out, I think. I don't know, man. Decisions. We've already gotten so much. Maybe I'm, like, biting more than I can chew. Maybe we just finish the day off with 99 Herblur. We do a bit of skilling. We come back here later. We're gonna call it here. It's been a great success. 35 kills. Basically a third of the way done. Uh, but that just means I can't continue with Slayer for today, simply because I want to finish this task. So because of that, let's do a little bit more skilling in anticipation for the next breach, which should be in approximately two hours. While I'm skilling on the main, waiting for the breach, I'm trying to scrape together enough money on the Fisher account in order to afford a dexterous prayer scroll. It goes for between 20 and 23 million right now, as you can see I have 5 mil right here. A remote storage just sold for 8.5, we're now to 13 mil. Sigil of Enhanced Harvest just sold for 1.7, we're now on 15 mil. And this Arcane Swiftness is slowly selling for 6 mil. So if this sells, I could afford a dexterous prayer scroll on the main account, and that can be a massive upgrade for us. I have never had sigils sell off this quickly, look at this. 21 million. I'm just gonna put an offer in for the extra prayer scroll. I also have a bunch of battle staffs and earth orbs. I make those into staffs. I sell the staffs. I probably have enough to afford this before the breach, which would be phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful sight to see Dexterius Prayer Scroll has been purchased. I did have to sell an Eternal Crystal to be able to afford it, but 23.7 was the final price. Let's go ahead and trade this over to the proper account and use it to have all the prayers unlocked. I was scraping all the possibilities of how to make money. I even started making battle staffs again. And then I realized, hold up, wait a second. I had three crystals still available. So uh, yeah, we still have a ton of money left over, but the second account is pretty much completely out of cash at this point. However, with this click, we are now going to fully unlock the potential of our account. I would argue these are the best possible unlocks you can get on any given character, but especially in Deadman mode, they are extremely expensive. I think we ended up paying 17 million for the Augury, and then this one was, what, like 24 million for the Dexterous Prayer Scroll. But we got it all from scratch, all by ourselves, with our usual Deadman mode strategy, and the large portion was also thanks to the alt account. But we are now learning Rigor, a very expensive decision, but we now have basically best in slot prayer for range and best in slot prayer from magic. And the difference between something like a Rigor or something like an Eagle Eye is massive, as you can see, going from 50% increase in your ranging to a 20% increase, but also damage and defense all in like one prayer. So this is gonna be useful for just about everything I plan to do in the future uploads. But for now, let's finish off the day with a very strong breach. Hopefully. We're starting on 66644 total points. Looking pretty good. Let's see where we get to. Combat training cap. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, let's just go through the tree. Dude, everything dies in one hit again. I forgot the last time it was the same for this bridge. There is a lot of people here. Look at this. Boom! Oh my goodness. I believe I am the safest with this setup. And most people that are on like above me in high scores have reached their point caps from breaches already. And I know for a fact we're not even close. So I'm pretty excited to see how the next few days go when we will keep getting points and others will have to, well, not get points anymore. Okay, first tier five. Yeah, somebody's on me again. Yeah, I'm just being ragged on this world. It's kind of crazy. Here, I'm just gonna go Barrows. Barrows is gonna be much easier to deal with people that are perma hitting me. It's like really awkward because they like bolt me and I don't see them, but they don't like commit to me. It's like they're slowly draining my supplies and then like eventually I know I'd get hit by like a maxer. Got a first tier five from this side of the world. Oh, I'm being a, oh, it's the thingy. 
Okay. Why am I... I don't even know what was on me, to be honest. But something was on me. This is so crazy, because you can't see. Um, but yeah, somebody tried to rush me. Uh, but we made it out. Little combo hit, quick bank, and we go right back. See, like, again, bro. <laughs> Am I just... Is it just a mob hitting me? It could also be that it's just a mob hitting me, these big numbers. Yeah, that's a mob, okay. Another emblem from that one. Okay, let's not overstay our welcome. Picked up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, some good secondaries. We might even be... This might be enough to finish 99 Herbler tomorrow. And we end it on 68.7. Obviously, the fullest breach. Literally, this is like the peak. All the players are on for this one. But we made it out alive. That was one of the goals. What an episode. Again, we fully beefed up an account and we prepared for the future. In the next few days, we're gonna have to risk it all. We're gonna have to go to Godders. We're gonna have to do all these different bosses that are gonna be very scary to do when there's only four worlds to choose from. But if you want to make sure you don't miss out the content coming in the next few days, make sure to subscribe. You can help me reach 110k subscribers. We are so close and I would really appreciate it if you took a second of your day and maybe just subscribe. You can always change your mind later. That's gonna be it for me for today. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.